I'm letting, finally letting go of the hair, you guys. This is what the, my face turned out looking and I absolutely love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it, you guys. Please tell me what you think in the comment section please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and let's grow <laughs>came with the couch guys i didn't get them from anywhere and i need to get these washed they haven't been washed in so long and if you check here mana on this ottoman there's even like blue stains this is from like the kids when visiting and stuff so i decided to take on this i'm already regretting it <laughs> i'm already regretting this decision but this is washing machinable so that's great i also need to wash our carpet actually but then i think just sweeping it will do for now and yeah 
mini spring cleaning does also your weather is changing up so much and i feel if i don't do this now then we're gonna go into winter with dirty stuff like this couch and and also these are my favorite snacks guys you get them from a pick and pay and my yankee snacks wowzer in the chutney flavor and yeah that's me And welcome back to my channel Ikamala Mutemsi Wagwangu Beni and to all the new viewers hi welcome I hope you like it here and you stay please don't forget to like the video comment share and subscribe you guys I really 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 appreciate it um in the previous few clips quite a lot has happened I went um I plated my hair and then I accompanied hubby to the airport. I went to a ladies gathering on Saturday and immediately after I went home to spend the night at home, my home home. And we went to church together. Everybody was present. My elder brother, my elder sister, my twin sister, um, my nieces and my nephew and umama was also there and um it was such a special sunday as well because umama was um anointed as an as an assistant at her church and yeah these are really just beautiful special moments that i feel so privileged to even be able to experience with my family and really just being under the grace of god and praising and worshiping him and really choosing god even in our adult lives because it's one thing to when as a parent you introduce your kids to god and they choose another path but then we are here, all of us, by choice. <laughs> such a blessing. Such, such, such a blessing. And today I actually am busy with washing Ilona. Washing Ama cushion covers. Ama covers with couch. Yeah. I am doing that and also just doing a bit of cleaning around the house and I just took a bath. I'm also in my pondo era <laughs> and I am really just chilling, mind you, you guys. I'm really just chilling and um, yeah, Uhabi should be back shortly and then I'll make lunch and I've also been craving something bait so i'll probably get onto that as well but then enjoy i hope you enjoy this video and enjoy this vlog you guys and see you on the flip side <laughs> Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two That corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds One, two, three All that I need is your body next to me on rainy days Just need your company, don't need too much Just your simple love and it's Of hearing your voice every morning I wake to a kiss on my face So I don't need too much Just your simple love and it's Walking 
to the market, strolling hand in hand, exchanging letters when you're away. Don't need any effort when we are together. We always have fun throughout the day. I'll do anything to get your attention. When you say you love me, I sing to ascend to the heavens above where we fall in love. I don't know what I would do without you because all I need. Oh. without it I used a glycerin face wash and honestly I regretted it <laughs> I started breaking out so much and things like that and highly highly recommend and today I also did a scrub and um, with this one I use it two or three times a week it's usually two but then yeah I scrub very um, not so often basically and then so this is my nighttime routine you guys so now I am going to use the serum e even pigment perfecta absolutely love it and I also use this night cream also from Eucerin I'm a Eucerin girl <laughs> so mind I'm going to tone my face put on some serum as well as the moisturizer this has been a game changer in terms of just helping me with the pigment I had and I usually break out when it's that time of the month so I usually break out when it's that time of the month and um, for some reason even when I decide not to pinch it or anything I'll still get a pimple or two and it'll leave marks so this has helped me a great deal in um, just maintaining the health of my skin basically and another thing as much as these products are expensive they go a long way like I use this I go through this bottle I use it every night and I go through it in two months because just one pump suffices so that is great so basically I alternate um, with my skin shade so on the day that I tone or I mask then I don't scrub so just be gentle with your skin and really just um, plan it out have a schedule I mean I even have alarm clocks on my phone to remind me to mask or to exfoliate or things like that Lastly is my lippy, the girl she thinks she is. <laughs> okay. 
Okay guys, so that is my nighttime routine. I just need to, let me actually take you through my hair as well. So what I do, because I'm trying to tend my hairline, you guys. What I'm going to do now is, I'm trying to tend to my hairline and what I've started doing is massaging it with custom oil and then my whole hair, I just use the MP oil. I'm not sure, Utile, um, the one with the orange thingy, I couldn't find it and I just got this one, but this is the first time I used this yellowy one, yellow the one with the yellow label basically i bought the castor oil from fix and that is good like guys never but then what i basically do is i just put it on my hairline like so i'm not a master i'm only department i'm not a master you guys but then i actually just also remember I last moisturized my hair day before yesterday and mind you I'm remembering tomorrow is Friday today's Thursday so tomorrow is Friday and between tomorrow and Saturday I need to wash my hair because I wash my hair once a week so I actually think it's a bad idea to moisturize but I'm gonna moisturize. Anywho, cause this is like the second full day since I moisturized my hair. But then it actually, it feels moist. Like it feels moist and I also try not to um, manipulate my hair a lot, especially now on this hairline journey. I've also given my hair a break from we Lorna, you guys. From um getting braiding it and stuff like in terms of doing not um getting three strand um braids or twists and stuff because I feel that also contributes to e, e breakage basically so and then another thing is i don't tie too tightly because i'm at home only when i go and there's a certain style that i want to do i do it but then as soon as i get back home i untie it basically so this is me you guys and my nighttime routine manager we almost load shedding so um so the next two hours i'm really just gonna be chilling probably catching up on youtube and stuff and then as soon as electricity gets back i am going to prepare dinner it's just gonna be bump and liver i am looking forward to that like guys i've craved liver for so long <laughs> and today is finally the day that i have it so yeah you guys um check you on the flip side <laughs> two hours later
basically just roughly cube your tomato and it's going to be like a it's going to create um a puree effect once in the pot so that's why size doesn't matter and for the liver i'm going to use this barbecue with garlic spice nothing hectic rub it on there i leave it for a few minutes so that the spice in the place of salt um, sinks in so guys for my tomato gravy i've got cajun spice and that contributes also to the salt element and then i've got one beef cube I'm so excited for the smell you guys it's so easy but it is going to heat home add your tomato one more ingredient ingredient being sugar just a little bit of sugar this helps with upsetting Ilo offsetting the acidity of the tomato and another way to offset it is to add a pinch of baking soda you guys so for those of you who don't have like a who don't have a sweet tooth you can basically add a pinch of baking soda and works like magic so i'm gonna leave that to simmer so this is like the Second, third time, yeah, second if not third time, I am trying this out, and I remember how much Habi and I um, enjoyed it the last time. So I am going to give it a go again and wish me luck. <laughs> so I need a whisk, and then as I pour in my, and not a lot. Yeah, I think that's enough. Leave that to bubble away. Decrease the temperature. I am going to put that on three. And let's check on my tomato gravy. That is coming on nicely. I just need to decrease the heat as well. And now guys, for the moment of truth. I think this is good. I was told it needs to babble away and it must give you this effect. Like give a shiny, glossy type of situation. And then you add your mini mill once more and you are done. So once more, added a little bit. And another thing I like about E, about Musa, you guys, is that um, it doesn't use as much mealy meal as um, normal pop watch. This reminds me so much of my grandmother, you guys. Let that simmer and you are done. I think my tomato gravy. Ah! Yo guys, I'm up with the lava. That's why I hate them. I don't I, I dislike them. Hate is such a strong word. But I dislike them. And my tomato gravy. Guys, I am going to leave this gravy to continue simmering till I'm ready to dish up but then at this point it's ready 
now for the liver you guys My oil is not hot enough. This is too money. I change your to right. I think this is too runny. As because it needs to be ganjena, but I must be able to pick it up and lay. Uh -uh, guys, it needs more time in the pot. <laughs> Let me add a little bit more of Ilona. Um, in Bupu and then try again in a few. This is the consistency we want. And then you'd see our uh, aunt is a bashapat. Who's a give a good kitchen in Shanghai? Yeah! <laughs> and then, okay, it's still liquid, but so, guys, I'm not a pro. Ne? But then, what you do with it? Mm. to help the back to cool cool down and solidify in a way and another thing I love absolutely love about Busra is rooting even if I'm to have it like tomorrow I you just pop it in the microwave and it's fresh fresh like it doesn't give you last night bubble, um, vibes or like taste their corn and stuff so I love that about it so you let this cool and then take it back into the pot to keep it warm for up till whenever you need it but I mean I'm not gonna put it back into the pot but that's how it's done guys guys I wanted to show you how easy it is to handle bosa once it's um, cooled down mm. I found it's rather hard but never like the simplicity and this other one is still hot, you guys. <laughs> Javi and I eat on the same plate, by the way. So that's us. And, then, and now for the liver. This 
meal you guys is just I celebrate like I can't wait to dig in cannot wait to dig in you guys hey guys and this is our meal simple quick and easy very simple and so tasty I can't wait to dig in um, yeah guys let me go have Zinta with my Thursday and check you guys on the next one thank you so much for tuning in I really hope you enjoyed it and lots of love good night <laughs>